Hello everyone, in this video I will introduce the S3 PCB by creating a project using Lora E32 modules. The PCB that we created allows you to very easily use Lora modules for communication. You just plug it in and then start running. And in this video we will be wirelessly sending messages between nodes, send instructions or data. Our S3 PCB has SMPS key power regulator which is non-linear as you can see on the screen. And here is the socket for plugging the LoRa module. Without further trouble such as soldering or cabling, after you plug it, you can start using it right away, as easy as it could be. After plugging the module, you can run the LoRa by either connecting the PCB to your computer via USB-C or via and 5 volts battery. The green lights here show the state of the PCB. Whenever a message is sent to a node, the LED will blink. We added this LED to our PCB so that you can program it to see the state of your code without a serial monitor. And here I am holding the fully equipped version of the PCB. We have places on the PCB for you to get buzzer, terminal block, relay outputs. Our PCB compasses a broad list of features such as multiplexers, touch screens, GPS modules. And here you can plug the LoRa module to the socket and start using it. We use E3220D LoRa module here. And you can program the PCB through USB serial C. On the screen you can see the transmitter and the receiver codes. We are using Arduino IDE to program our ESP32 S3 microcontrollers. We have uploaded all the codes to GitHub for you to get. You can find them if you search by the user fixage technique. If we get back to explaining the code, the first thing first, we import a library to utilize our lower model. I used XRF Flora library for years. It is a really reliable library. It also has a good number of forks and stars. And here we define some pins. Each PCB on the earth has a different PCB scheme. And we also have one. If you come here and look at our PCB, you can see that the M0, M1, RX and TX are connected to 4, 6, 18 and 17 pins of the S3 chips. They are connected to ESP32 S3 microcontroller. And then we start using our library by calling hardware serial. And then you can see that we define our addresses for our LoRa modules, both for the receiver and transmitters, who to receive and what is my ID. And below we have a struct, represents our signal. We send the packages which is such as struct data type. On our setup we call a function for setting the LoRa parameters. Thanks to our PCB you can automatically apply parameter settings to LoRa without any converters such as USB sticks. Uh, for example, here we set the error rate, the output power. These depend on these depend on your local restrictions. There are laws on them, uh, so you gotta set them accordingly. So getting back at the code. We digital write them to start sending messages. And by messages, I mean the signal struct. We send an integer, a float, a string, and a state of a button in our data struct. Uh, you have got to be careful about your data struct actually. It has to match your both transmitter and receiver codes. If they are differently, the communication will fail. And another important thing is that in your signal struct, you always have to send each type as bytes um, so you can send them as packages like this and the board we choose is ESP32 dev kit and uh, here you can also choose it on 
this drop down menu the pcb we created uses s3 microcontroller our menu settings has got to be like this if they are differently you might not be able to get serial input or output and it is the same for the receiver too the many config settings are the same now we upload them to our pcbs both of them actually um it is uploading and we have got to wait a little bit here uh, there should be no problems yep they are uploaded you can see that on our transmitter it says success this means that the data actually uh, goes correctly and our trans our receiver also receives messages look it prints the state of the button it says button is zero because we sent the button as false here as you can see here it was false this is why it prints zero if you were to change this to uh, true then the receiver uh, would receive a positive state of button here i can say set this to true and I will upload the transmitter again because the transmitter is the one that transmits even though all of our modules are trans receiver meaning they can both be transmitters and receivers but for simplicity here I set the transmitter as transmitter only receiver as receiver only and look at this now it receives one as button state you can use this in your projects for example uh, when you click on the button the gate of your garden might open or maybe you want to create an intruder alarm here you can always send the state of something a button or i don't know maybe an input from an sensor you can always send them like this and on the receiver parts if uh, a data is received as one uh like this one for example when the button is clicked you might do something you can buy our products on store pixage.com uh we are selling this internationally we ship to every country we use dhl to send our packages it is reliable our pcbs canvas rs232 rs485 it has rj11 rj12 connectors it has gp places for gps modules it has places for gyro sensors and we also have a pin schematic here uh you can look at the table our product lists each product we use on our pcb exists there there are also links to buy the products yourself our pcb is very advanced it has a lot of features we have created the most advanced s3 pcb it has all the communication protocols on earth uh, it has everything that you need and we ship to every country so please support us by shopping on our international website store.fixage.com thank you Thank you.